Hi, welcome to the sound test rooms video on home recording on a budget. Okay, so you've seen the, uh, if you haven't seen the other video about the studio we have upstairs, then you can go and have a look at that. Or this is the cheapest way or a cheap way to set up a home recording studio. Okay, so probably the best way to do it is to have a small portable handheld recorder like the Tascam, there's also a video on this as well, um, a laptop running some music software, uh, a keyboard if you're a keyboard player, a uh, decent pair of headphones and if you're using virtual instruments uh, an audio interface uh, and some uh, ASIO drivers. Okay. You don't necessarily need the ASIO drivers. There is a free ASIO, uh, free ASIO driver out there called ASIO for All. Also, you don't need it to be like we use the little micro station because we can move it around and take it to different places and it weighs like nothing. Uh, you could just buy a USB keyboard for around 50 euros, 50, 60 pounds. It's dead cheap. All you need to do then is get your USB cable plug your keyboard into the computer, download some free software uh, for recording, Sony uh, do a version of their Acid Pro uh, software called Acid Express which is 100% free, it's fairly limited, doesn't allow you to do certain things but allows you to manipulate WAV files and stuff. To record VSTs you're going to need something like uh, Crystal Audio or Audacity. I use uh, FL Studio XXL Pro but then again uh, that was an expensive piece of software and I have uh, some commercial VSTs on there and also some free VSTs on here at the moment is the excellent uh, Native Instruments Core Player which is a 100% free VST available from Native Instruments and it's fantastic you can do but there are lots and lots of really great free VSTs out there okay um, so if you just wanted to record into your computer, uh, you could obviously, all you need is a laptop, a uh, USB keyboard if you don't want to record any audio and you're, you're good to go for around, I don't know, $600 or £600, Euros or whatever. I would suggest if you're serious about recording is to get something like this which is the Tascam TB008 or the Korg SOS or many of the other small handheld recorders out there because they start at around 150 end up around well the sky's the limit then obviously but the cheaper ones you'll get you can pick up a decent one for around 150 I think we paid about 269 euros for, for this one um, this has microphones built in so you wouldn't need to buy any extra mics obviously I don't know if the uh, zoom recorder is picking up the uh, external sound here but you know if you're going to use external microphones or or any any kind of microphone it's going to pick up noise so you have to be careful about that as well uh, accompanying this video is a, a short video that I've made I made a song on this a track on this yesterday with no vocals just instrumental so I'm going to post this just so you can see the quality that you can get from just using this small recorder and it was just recorded with the sounds from the micro station as well so you should get a good idea of the, the quality but these small recorded uh, portable recorders and, and, and keyboards and soft synths now give you excellent sound quality anyway it's all it's all wave quality sound so you're not really losing anything and if you have anything bigger or you can save it once you move up a notch you can always transfer those files onto a bigger recorder uh, and do more work with them okay so as you can see uh, down here we don't have any monitors because we just this is where we just we tend to write stuff also if you've got a guitar you can plug your guitar into the back of there as well or you can uh, strum away on your acoustic and record it through the microphones um, we just use a decent pair of headphones these are AKG they're designed for DJs but they're really really they're really really great so they can go really loud the only problem with we recording everything inside headphones is that you're not going to get an absolutely true mix so you can when you hear this track in here it might give you an idea that the whole thing was done in headphones I mean it's not it's not bad quality 
but it, I probably could have made it better if I'd have been hearing it while I was recording it as well. So basically that's it really. Keyboard, small recorder, laptop, and as you can see everything's really portable as well so you could actually take it round. So if you've got a, a, some friends who play music or, or whatever or you're collaborating with other people other than sending them WAV files or MP3s over the internet and stuff, you could actually go round, record some stuff onto your, just take this, record some stuff onto the portable recorder, bring it back home, uh, hook it up via a USB cable to the computer, transfer the files from there onto there into your favourite DAW and uh, start editing files and stuff. Good thing about the Tascam and I think probably all these small ones do is uh, you can mix down a stereo master track with it then export the stereo master directly into the computer and then burn a CD or post it to the internet or whatever you want to do or you can export each individual track into uh, something like Acid or Cubase or whatever, so you'll have exactly as it is all the all the waves uh, in the in the studio laid out in front of you on the screen, so you then can do further editing and uh, an adjustment to the sound and stuff like that. So for less than I'd say probably less than a thousand pounds or less than a thousand euros, or probably less than a thousand dollars as well, you could set up a fairly decent. Uh, home recording studio where you could record other people you can record yourself it's great for doing ideas and demos and then as you as you build up uh, you can you know keep all this stuff and use it as portable stuff like we do or or, uh, or you can sell it and get something better for your big studio but uh, all in all it's probably a good idea that if you're starting out on a budget to uh, to understand that you know if you buy one of these small digital recorders that you're gonna be you're gonna be okay as a personal preference, I re I prefer to record on uh, hardware that's designed to record, and very rarely use DAWs to actually record into. Um, Fruity Loops uh, FL Studio XSL I've used for about ten years now, and I only use this piece of software really now as a great big gigantic synthesizer rack. If I, I for instance, if I take away Core Player. I can add something like the uh, the commercial uh, CS80 or the free when it loads up in about 300 years Alchemy player the Alchemy player is really really great that's a free one from Camel Audio uh, so as you can see, you know, if you've got a, a laptop, you can get lots of free, absolutely free, le legal, legit software to record with. Or once you start to, to spend a little bit of money, you'll get some better stuff. Um, so computer, keyboard, doesn't need to be uh, an actual standalone keyboard. You could just buy a USB keyboard, a, a MIDI controller keyboard. They start at a really, really reasonable price as well. Um, but this functions also as a... A MIDI, a MIDI controller for, for all this stuff as well. Decent pair of headphones, recorder, and basically you're good to go. Uh, if you'd like to have a look at the other video, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, you can have a look at the bigger studio, which is upstairs, and listen to some of the stuff. But the track on here, that I recorded on here, will accompany this video, and it will be called, uh, the song will be called Free Fall and it'll come under the, it'll, it'll say something like uh, home recording studio on a budget demo track free fall so you can get an idea of the kind of sound quality I would always suggest as well as when you're listening through uh, listening to mp3s and stuff on YouTube or whatever don't listen through your little titchy tiny speakers that come with the uh, laptop try and listen through uh, headphones or, or a decent uh, monitoring system okay that's about it thanks for watching